Senator Jim Espaldon and Solid Waste receiver Gershman, Brickner and Branton have mended their distressed relationship to focus on bigger issues surrounding the closure of the Ordot dump and the opening of a new one in Dandan. Dan. Last month, Espaldon was upset because GBB didn't make time to review two bills that attempt to reform solid waste practices. While the lines of communication are much clearer, the former Solid Waste Law Review Commission chair says he suggested GBB look into former used dump sites that the military created over the years. Espaldon says there are numerous FUDs around Guam, and if the military is to partner with the local government, he says these health and environmental concerns need to be addressed. The question then becomes of whether that material is going to be acceptable at the new landfill site. And again, it has to be an issue that they have to at least be uh, cognizant of so that the design of the landfill will be able to accommodate it when we do uh, get to that point. While three stalled measures are still being reviewed by the receiver, GBB has asked Espaldon for help in creating legislation regarding commercial haulers, enforcing the ban of recyclable items, landfill financing, and the mayor's authority to dump trash. Despite the many problems that need to be resolved, Espaldon says good changes are being made. Very frankly, I'm very impressed with them at this point. I mean, the, the, real, the real determination, I think, will be at the very end of the road. Have they done a good job? Have they done what they were supposed to do? And has it been cost effective and beneficial to our island? Josh Dukenko, Pacific News Center. That's right. That's right. And I